All right, folks, uh, if you are following along, I decided the other day it might be interesting to see what would happen if I used OpenAI's ChatGPT. I'm sure you folks have heard of it. If you haven't, um, it's a chat bot that uh, uses natural language processing and large language model to answer questions that are posed to it in a human form. So um, I decided it'd be interesting to see what would happen if I asked it something like, what are some thought provoking questions um, that would require a little bit of deep thinking to talk about? And I'm gonna run with that. So right up. The next question is, uh, what is the difference between happiness and contentment? And I think that's a pretty interesting one. Um, what is the difference between happiness and contentment? Love to hear from you folks if you've got any ideas of what the difference between those two things are and maybe how they've shown up in your life. But we're gonna dive into this a little bit. Um, and I'll be honest, I had to kind of rack my brain about contentment. And um, I think I even asked it a little bit more about like what it thought was the difference between contentment somewhere in here. Um, I thought I did. Oh yeah, I asked, uh, what does it mean to be content? And uh, it came back with, to be content means it's a state of satisfaction ease and happiness with one's current circumstances and situations. One's current circumstances. There's the word. Um, it goes on a, a bit longer than that, but I think we can kind of take it from there. So we're, we're thinking about what's the difference between happiness and contentment. And um, I think contentment is maybe, in my opinion, sort of the larger emotion or a larger experience than just happiness. Um, perhaps happiness is part of being content. Um, but I don't think, and this is sort of what I've learned in some of my practices and just the experience of living is that it's not realistic to be happy all the time, but it's possible that over time you could start living a life that's content and see more and more of your life become content. So you have longer stretches and perhaps more experience being content than you would being happy. Um, I don't think it's realistic to be happy all the time. We live in a world that we don't have much control over. And even some of the stuff that's going on internally with us, we don't have a lot of control over. You know, the first thing that sort of crops up, pops up in my mind is I like, think about illness. We don't always have a lot of control over that. So it's not always going to be something that we can control, happiness. We can't always control that. There's going to be tough times and there's going to be good times. And I think it's sort of the good times and the bad times are two sides to the same coin, you might say, where you can't really have one without the other. Um, in order to experience happiness, you have to be able to have sort of a frame of reference where you can compare it to something else where maybe you weren't so happy. Maybe you had some challenging times. And so you have that to reflect on and realize that um, maybe in the current moment, you're happy because you went through some tough stuff. So I think you have to have both. And so therefore you really can't live a life where you're always happy. And I think that's dangerous to strive for happiness as the goal. Um, I think you might get let down. Um, again, I would love to, to hear maybe some opposing ideas on that. Maybe there are some approaches to living a life where you do strive for happiness. And I'd be interested in hearing that. But I think it's I think you just have to be careful because like I said, we don't have a lot of control over everything. So if we get into this sort of mindset or goal setting of something we don't have control over, we might end up um, being disappointed in what happens. And it's not really about the end result, it's more about the journey. The journey of achieving those goals could be more rewarding than the actual goal itself. So, Happiness versus contentment, I'm getting kind of towards the end of the video, end of my five minutes. Um, I think contentment is more of a, could be more of a way of life, a style of life that includes things like happiness. But really what it boils down to is to be at ease with your current situation, what you've got going on, um, perhaps where you've found yourself career-wise, success-wise, relationship-wise, whatever the case may be, being okay um, with that and finding comfort in that. All right. Again, love to hear from you folks. What do you think? Happiness versus contentment? What's it all about? 
What does it mean to you? All right, until next time, peace.